Hi friends, welcome to Creative Art. I am Nilima and in today's tutorial, we are going to make these beautiful Christmas themed decoupage coasters. Daily use coasters feel a little boring this Christmas season, so why not create your own Christmas themed decoupage coasters which are really really easy and fun to make yourself and friends by the same technique you can also create some beautiful decoupage christmas ornaments so do watch the complete tutorial to make these beautiful coasters for yourself and do subscribe to creative art for more creative art tutorials and do press the bell icon so you don't miss any updates on a recent art form now let's check out all the materials we are going to need for this DIY. As it is the festive season, we are going to use a Christmas themed decoupage napkin. And these are the three beautiful prints that you can buy from Itsy Bitsy. This one napkin have so many different beautiful prints and we are going to make most use of it. Next is this two cute teddy bears holding gifts. And the next one is this beautiful Christmas themed red and green flowers. Next for base, I'm going to use round coasters and this is how the MDF coasters look. Each coaster may cost you about 20 rupees, but if you buy them in bulk, they may cost you less. For placing these beautiful decoupage napkins, I'm going to use Deco Magic Premium Decoupage Glue, the glossy one from Little Birdie. And for securing our decoupage art, we're going to use Decor Varnish, the same glossy one, some acrylic chalk paint for preparing the base and also coloring the sides, and a flat hair brush. All these materials will be mentioned in the description box below with their links from where you can buy them online. And friends, if you use my code, which is Nilima5, N-I-L-I-M-A-5, you will get an additional 5% off on your entire purchase from Itsy Bitsy. Now let's start the tutorial, friends. Pour a little bit of chalk paint in a container or in your palette and then one by one start priming your base using a flat hairbrush. As this chalk paint is quite thick, it can also be used as a primer. Let this one get dry. Now let this side of the coasters get dry completely and after that also prime the other side of the coasters in the same way. Now in the same way I have completed priming both the sides of these coasters. So now I will let them get dry. Till the coasters get dry completely, let's start preparing our decoupage napkins and for that we have got these three beautiful Christmas themed decoupage napkins. This is my favorite and it absolutely goes with this festive season. This is how beautiful and big it is. It has multiple prints. As it is a three ply napkin, we have to start by separating the three plies. This is the colorful one we need and the next two are white sheets that we don't need. So gently hold the colorful one and separate it from the white napkin in this way. Here we have got this delicate and beautiful printed side. Do the same for rest of the three napkins. Hold the colorful printed side and separate rest of the white napkin from it in this way so many teddy bears and this is how big it looks now this is how all the three prints of napkins look now let's start separating each of these beautiful designs from these decoupage napkin and for that we're going to need some water and a brush I like to use a round hair brush number one or two and a toothpick for tearing the paper. So first of all, using this brush, I'll mark out the area I would like to separate. And then use a toothpick or a pin 
hold the design from one hand and you can easily tear the napkin in this way. Now here we have got our first piece and this is how it looks. Keep it aside and in the same way start separating more pieces that you need. And here we have got our second piece. Now in the same way we are going to separate this napkin also. So first I will be separating this one teddy bear because if I take a size this is how much it is going to cover. So at a time we can place only one print of teddy bear on our decoupage coaster. So we will separate only one teddy bear. And this is the beautiful piece we have got here. Keep it aside and in the same way keep separating more pieces. So now we have two different designs of teddy bear. Now let's separate our last napkin which has these beautiful red Christmas flowers. Until now our coasters are also completely dry. So for this napkin let's place the coaster beneath the design we want to cut so that we can cut the design exactly according to the size of coaster. So with this piece of napkin we have an advantage that there is no specific element or design in this napkin. The entire napkin is filled up with these beautiful designs and each one is connected. So for that we can just directly cut it in this way. Just spread the napkin and separate so we have got this piece later on while we are placing the decoupage tissue we can separate the edges and make them look much more fine so this is one and take the next piece place it on the coaster wet the sides using water This is our next piece and we can get one more from this side. Now friends, these are all the cutout pieces that I have got out of these three beautiful printed decoupage napkins. I have tried my best to get all different designs. I still have half of each napkin remaining but I think these prints will be enough for our coasters. Now let's start placing these beautiful decoupage napkin cutouts on our coasters which are completely dry now and ready for this step. And for that we are going to use Deco Magic Premium Decoupage Glue, the glossy one from Little Birdie. First pour a little amount in a small container like this and then select a piece that you want to place on your coaster in this way. Okay, It absolutely fits. And this is how I want it to be. Now use a flat hair brush and gently spread out the decoupage glue all over the coaster in this way. Then gently place the tissue paper and then start pressing it and spreading it all around the glue in this way either using a brush or gently with your fingers this time I'm just doing it with my fingers and this is how it will look right in the same way let's place a teddy bear let's see okay This is how it looks. Okay. 
keep it aside now. Now you can clearly see that the tissue paper has exceeded the coaster so for that we are going to let this coaster piece get dry and then we can easily trim or file this extra pieces. Once the sides are dry we can place more pieces on the back side of these coasters and these are the three pieces I would like to place. want you can add a few more fillings now after placing all the pieces where you want it to be on coaster let the decoupage glue get dry completely at least for two to three hours and then using a file you can easily file the excess pieces of decoupage which is remaining on the sides of the coaster like this small piece you can easily file it in this way just drag your nail file in this circular motion and this small pieces will easily get separated or filed up. So there won't be any excess remaining piece outside the coaster and this will look a very smooth and sharp surface like this. So now friends after getting perfect pieces of decoupage on coaster let's start decorating these coasters using some chalk paint. You can also use multi-surface paint from the same itsy bitsy. For these two coasters I'm going to use chalk acrylic paint sandstone color and this one is a butternut squash color and for teddy bear and this beautiful red Christmas flower I'm going to make use of tinted metallic paint silver charm from little birdie. Here I'm using a round paintbrush number 10 to apply sandstone color chalk paint which is very very much similar to the base color of decoupage napkin we have applied. So first I'm going to apply it all over which will also hide the difference between napkin and base so it will look as one now I'm going to use the butternut squash color and using this color I'm just going to apply it on the sides itsy bitsy chalk paints are quite thick so they can also help you to create some texture if you use sponge or just by dabbing. I'm going to use a small piece of sponge and I'm going to dab 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 the sides in this way to get this dotted texture. It looks quite good. The same I'm going to do for this coaster also. I'm going to let these two pieces get dry. Now I'm going to use tinted metallic paint. This is a silver charm for these two coasters. Use just a little bit. Do the sides. And bring just a little bit on the base in this way. Give that part a shimmering shimmering look. Just not on the print. It looks cute right? Okay? And now this is how cute cute it looks with this silvery shine on the background. Do the same for the back side also. Let me show you for Christmas flower. I'm going to do a little bit of overlining here and then bring it to the white parts. Same on other side also. 
Now let all these beautiful coasters get dry completely till the paint is tap dry and in the same way also color the next side of the coasters. Now this is how beautiful the other side of our coasters look. After filling the remainings with color it looks so smooth and subtle. So now friends I'm going to use some glitters as I did for this coaster, for these two coasters and for this one also. And for that again I'm going to use some Deco Magic Premium Deco Page Glue. Pour just a little bit in a container using a paintbrush. I'm just going to apply it on the sides for this one. After applying glue on the sides of this coaster, take some glitter of your favorable choice. Here I'm taking sparkling snow glitters which comes in small packets. So I like to store them in container and then gently I'm going to tap, tap, tap this coaster sides in this way so that the glitters get it. And this is a beautiful, beautiful sides of our coaster look. As this decoupage napkin was a complete field of design, so I'm just going to do this glittering part on the sides. But for this one, which is a teddy bear one, I did it on the white blank parts also. And this is how beautiful it looks. Now let this one get dry. And in the same way, I also decorated the sides of this coaster and this so beautiful, beautiful it looks. And for the next two coasters, I chose to do one side using these beautiful sparkling glitters. And for the other side, I have selected a copper color glitter. And for these coasters, I'll do the same. Use Deco Magic Premium Deco Page Glue for the sides in this way. And you can also fill just a little bit of decoupage glue where you find a little bit of blank part. Not on the design but a little bit of on the blank part. Here is some almond color glitter. That's what it was named. And I'm going to dab this part gently in the glitters. And look. This is a beautiful, beautiful it looks. Bring the edges a little down. So this is how this coaster looks and this is how it looks from the back side. So now we'll let it get dry. The same step we have to do for this side of coaster also just by tapping the sides. But before that, I'm going to do this side where we have a lot of scope for glitters because there is a lot of space where we can place glitters. Each time remember to smoothen out the edges of glitter so there should be no bulk of glitter in one place. And this is how it looks from this side and this is how beautiful it looks from the other side. Glittering decorative part get dry completely till the glue turns out transparent. It's been an hour now and our decoupage glue is completely dry and this is how beautiful beautiful our coasters look with the shimmering shiny glitters. So now friends it's time to do our last step that is to use decor varnish and I'm going to use the glossy varnish. If you're going to use these coasters in your daily life I would suggest you to do one layer of clear resin on each coaster. Let it get dry and then repeat the same on the other side but if you're going to use these coasters for decorative purpose like I'm going to do it for Christmas season only that is best to use decor varnish as it will dry easily and you can make multiple decorative use of this coaster so now friends I'm going to pour some varnish in a container okay and then using a flat hair brush start varnishing on the coaster Start from the center to outwards, center to outwards. Do the same for the other side also. Now let it get dry. As I have placed varnish on both the sides, I have to let it dry vertically this way. Yes. Till that, let's apply varnish on these pieces. 
I'm doing varnish on the paper part first so I may not drag any glitters on the paper now once the paper part is covered I'll gently start applying varnish on the glittering part Now let all these sides of varnish get dry completely and only then do varnish on the next side. So now friends, I'll let them get dry for at least 2-3 to three hours. Now after varnishing both the sides of coasters, this is how beautiful all of them look with the shimmering and glittering shine all over them. This time I have just placed it with my Christmas decoration pieces but later on I'm definitely going to post more and more photos this Christmas using these beautiful Christmas themed decoupage coasters. So friends, do give it a try, make it yourself and do tell me in the comments below what do you think about these beautiful coasters. And if you do like my tutorials friends, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.